Welcome to Alan Wake 2. For this video, I'm going to be using the RTX 3080 and we'll start it off at 1080p at the max settings. Right here we are with that. There we go. Wow. 22 FPS now. That is insane. That is crazy. Let's count the FPS again because the cutscene ruined it. Yeah, maybe the analysis is required for pass tracing. I'm not really surprised though. All right, let's play for a little bit like this, and then I'll go ahead and enable the LSS. Achievement! Thank you. Look at the VRAM though, guys. 9.6 gigs. This card that I'm using right here only has 10. But if you have the 12 gig variant, you might be fine. I do want to see how it runs at a higher resolution though, because it does look a bit soft at 1080p. So I think higher resolution will look much sharper, and it will enhance the graphics even further. All right, while we're here, let's enable the LSS. I do want to see how this runs in this section here. Let's use the balance preset. All right, now using balance DLSS, we are sitting in the low 40s. So from the low 20s to the low 40s now. It's around a 20 FPS increase. I am seeing some shimmering around the trees here. I'll go back so you guys can see it. But at the same time, the game is much more playable. It's actually usable at this point. What's up here? Hold on a second. Any secrets by any chance? I knew it. Look at that. Game looks gorgeous, guys. Wow. Looks amazing, even at 1080p. Or do you cut that there? It's kind of weird. Alright, disabling RT now. Everything's disabled. Let's try again and see what this card can do. Alright, let's jump back into it. Alright, well, I didn't get a checkpoint, so I'm back into the start of the game again. But we are now sitting in the 60s. It's kind of the FPS. We are playing at the max settings, obviously, so it's still quite intensive. But... It's a decent start, I would say. But I think definitely for 440p and 4K, we're going to use the LSS. And getting 60 FPS should be doable with this card. Let's make our way back to the section that we were at. And this time, I won't quit out until we get a checkpoint. I'm not trying to be stuck in the intro forever. But yeah, so far, I'm not a big fan of the LSS at 1080p. Whoa, his leg just disappeared. Did you guys see that? But yeah, I'm not a big fan of the LSS at 1080p. I think personally, I'd rather stay at native res and have lower frame rate than use the LSS. But 440p and 4K is a different story. I think for that, it does make much more sense to use the LSS. Alright guys, where are we going? Lead the way. Up here? Alright, I'll follow you guys. The game is pretty fun so far, guys. The game is pretty fun. It kind of feels like LA Noir a little bit. Which I like. But isn't scary just yet. So we'll see as we go, but... So far, it's pretty fun. It makes sense why it's getting such high reviews. But yeah, 1080p at the max settings isn't fully stable at 60 FPS. It does fall down into the mid 50s occasionally here and there. Right, felt some stuttering just then. First time it's happened so far. Okay, let's enable the LSS right here and use the quality preset. Yeah, we gained around 10 FPS pretty much. It might be a bit lower. But looking at the graphics, um, it's pretty similar to native 1080p. I'm looking for the shimmering that I saw before. And with this lighting, I can't really see it that well. So I think it's looking pretty good. But let's see if it falls below 60 FPS. Alright, put this here as well. Boom, is that it? Yes, it is. There we go. Fell into the high 50s for a second there. So yeah, it does fall down into the low 60s and even the high 50s occasionally. But all around, it is far more stable and obviously far more playable. And looking at the graphics, they're quite close to native 1080p, so I think it's definitely usable if you like playing at 1080p. Alright, making our way back up into the car, and I guess we'll go from there. This next scene might be, I guess, less intensive. I might just play it myself, and then come back once it's actually more intensive. So yeah, now in the town, it's definitely far easier to run. We're now sitting in the high 80s up into the low 100s. So yeah, far easier to run, and obviously far more stable as well. But for the VRAM, still the same, and system RAM's a bit lower. All right, I'm gonna back out here, go up to 440p, and go from there. All right, playing the game at 440p, at the max setting still, with pass tracing enabled, no DLSS, and let's jump into the game. I've gone ahead and played for a little bit myself. I went through the town. Again, the FPS was quite a bit higher, uh, but we're back at the lake again. And as you guys can see right now, we are sitting at 16 FPS. Game is extremely laggy and very choppy, but the graphics look amazing, guys. It's good for screenshots, that's for sure. The game is pretty freaky, I can't even lie. Even though it was a simple scene, I just freaked me out a little bit. Alright, stuttering. I can't really feel any, but again, the game is very choppy and very laggy. So, let's pause the game here, enable the LSS, and uh, see if it's actually playable. Alright, using balance DLSS, we're now sitting in the high 20s and the low 30s. Not great, but 
for some it can be usable. All right, looking at the graphics, can't really see any shimmering, which is fantastic. And the sharpness is quite good. Being part of the FBI was a mistake. I'm quitting. I'm gonna quit. Look how dark it's getting, dude. Please. Mid 20s, guys. Look at that. Mid 20s, even the low 20s right now. Not very playable at all, even with the LSS. All right, back at 440p again. This time, no path tracing. And frame rate is pretty bad still, guys. The low to mid 30s. That is kind of crazy. I thought we would do way better than this, but I guess not. At the town, I was getting around 50 FPS up to 60 FPS. But yeah, in this section right here, far more intensive. The mid 30s again and the low 40s. It's kind of wild. So hopefully with DLSS, we can get 60 FPS at the max settings. If not, I'll play at the high settings and see if that's actually doable there. All right, let's follow the footprints. This is looking kind of bad, guys. 40 FPS and might get into a fight. Ugh. I don't like this. He went this way and then down here as well. All right, let's follow him along, I guess. It's getting so dark, dude. I don't like the pop-in because I've had it happen a few times at this point in the town and right here. But the overall, I guess, clarity looks fantastic. I love it. All right, footprints still down here. Let's follow him. Ah, dude. The tracks lead into the water. Of course, I can't see his footprints now. Go from here? Oh my god, okay. I can feel something. <sighs> that was uncalled for. Why? Why? Finding some batteries for the flashlight, I guess, maybe. Dude. This is way too intense. Alright, let's pause the game here, enable the LSS. I want to get 60 FPS while I fight this guy, if he does actually appear. Let's use the balance preset again. Alright, using balance DLSS, we're now in the high 40s instead of the mid to low 30s. We are pretty close to the 60s at this point, in the mid 50s and the high 50s occasionally, but still not quite there yet. So he went this way, I guess. Where's my teammate, by the way? Why did he just leave me? Is he dumb? I'm feeling some stutters happen as well, by the way. It's not smooth at all times. Uh, what is this thing over here? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. The portal, maybe? The game is really good, guys. Performance isn't perfect, obviously. It's quite intensive still. But the game is feeling very fun to play. And it's quite scary too. And again, it's 40 USD, so it's definitely cheaper than the other games. Uh, so it might be worth a pickup regardless for you. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and push DLSS a bit further to the performance mode. It's running at 720p now. It's still pretty bad, guys. The low 50s, pretty much. It can go as high as the low 60s and 70s. But in this section here, it is stuck to the low and mid 50s. And the graphics aren't looking as good as native 440p anymore. So I think for this resolution, I wouldn't go past the balance preset. Okay, now playing the game at the medium settings with balanced DLSS. Here we go with that. There we go. The game is doing much better, guys. Way better. We're now in the 80s. It's far more playable, and the graphics are still looking pretty good. So yeah, I think ideally, do a mix of medium and high, as well as DLSS. And you should have 60 FPS and above, with no issues at all. Alright, let's make our way back, and then I'm gonna go ahead and quit out, play the game at 4K. I won't do RT probably, because the game is already unplayable, um, at least with path tracing enabled, so imagine at 4K. It's gonna be quite rough with this card, and honestly, I don't think it's doable at all. Alright, finally playing the game at 4K, no RT, no DLSS, we are playing at 20 FPS, guys. But look at the clarity here, though. It looks incredibly sharp, it looks amazing. It's not playable, obviously, but maybe we can target 30 FPS with this one. Okay, I think the Witch's Hut was this way. And then left, right? Yeah, there we go. It's up here. For VRAM, we're sitting at 9.7 gigs. Max that, pretty much. Oh no, what is this? Huh, fuse box. Yeah, keep checking in. How about you stay with me next time, idiot? Got a fuse. Really? That's what you're gonna say? There's a cult nearby. All right, let's go back. Game is so stuttery though, guys. Very choppy all around. Let's use the fuse box. Boom. We got light, right? Surely, please. Or is the door open? Okay, why did you charge in like that? It's a break room, it's a safe space. We can save the game. Ah, that feels good. Let's enable DLSS. Obviously, it won't be playable at 20 FPS. And let's play at the performance preset. All right, guys, playing at 30 FPS now. Can go as high as the 40s, but yes, yeah, definitely far better. The game actually feels playable at this point. There we go, the 40s right here. 
it's pretty inconsistent unfortunately, but again, it's still playable at this kind of frame rate. Alright, playing at the medium preset, here we are with that. Again, no RT and all that, looking pretty good. Much better guys, way better. They're low 50s now. Um, I think we sat around the 30s here, the low 30s, from the max settings to the medium settings. Massive improvement, game feels much better. So it's really up to you. If you want to play the game at 30 FPS, then use the max settings with the LSS. But if you want to get 50 to 60, then use medium or even low. But I wouldn't use low to be honest, not really good for that. So yeah, there we go. That is Alan Wake 2 with the RTX 3080. The game is playable obviously. I would ideally use a mix of medium and high for this one. And as well as the LSS. So yeah, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys next time for the next video. See you guys then.